Hey folks, Sheila here from Design Files. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can organize all of your client projects within your Design Files account using the new project folders. Now the new project folders are gonna come in so, so handy for you, especially if you're dealing with large projects where you're uh, designing multiple rooms within a home. So if you have uh, multiple concept boards and multiple floor plan layout options for each room and multiple render views and your project is just starting to look like one endless scrolling page of all these kind of jumbled design boards you can now start using the project folders to group designs together so that you can keep everything very clean and organized so in my case you can see here that I've created folders for individual rooms like the bathroom the dining room the kitchen and I can start shifting design boards into each of these folders so that everything is organized by room. The other thing that you could do is you could create folders for different cases, like your final presentation. So maybe you wanna group all your final presentation slides into a specific folder so that you can share that with your client. So if you wanna do something like that, what you can do is anytime you wanna create a new folder, you would click the button up here that says add new. It's gonna show you a drop down where it says, you know, do you wanna add a design board or do you wanna add a design folder? So we'll click the option for design folder and let's just call this final presentation. So I'm gonna create the folder for my final presentation. It's gonna show right here in the middle. And if you're wondering why it's showing in the middle, it's just because all of your folders are listed alphabetically. Now the team is working on an update that will allow you to reorder the boards in whatever order you like, but for now they're listed alphabetically. Now, if I wanna add specific design boards into this folder, what I would need to do here is I'm gonna click the individual checkboxes that are uh, in the top left-hand corner of the design board when I hover over the design board. And then when I do that, you're gonna see there's a little panel at the bottom of the screen here that says I've got five designs that are selected and I have an icon here where I can move the selected items to a folder. So I'm gonna click that. It's gonna show me this drop down here where it's gonna list all of my folders and I can click the folder that I want to add these designs to. We'll then click the button to move the designs and now you can see all of those designs have been pushed into my final presentation folder. If I click into the folder, I'll be able to see and access all of, the, all of those designs. Now, if I added a design to a folder and it's the wrong folder, I can actually just click the button right here with the three dots and I can move this design out of this folder to another folder. So it's very easy for you to just shift design boards from folder to folder, or you can move them right back to the main project level. Now, if I go back to the main project level here, you can see that I've got this folder and it's got the individual design boards that are added to it, but I still have a number of designs that are just in the main project level. Now let's say that I wanted to start sharing some designs with my client. So if I click the button here to share with client, in this view, you're now gonna see all those individual designs that are still in the project level, but you're also going to see your folders as well. Now, if you're wondering why my folders for my bathroom and my dining room are not showing here, it's just because there's no designs added to those folders. So there's no need for them to show. If there are designs added to the folders, then they will show here. And you can click into these individual folders and you can choose to turn this toggle on to share all the designs within this folder, or you can just choose individual design boards that you plan to share. Now, when I do this, if I click back here, you're gonna see that I'm sharing three of five design boards. So the, the um, toggle sitting in the middle here. And I still have the option to just uh, click and add any additional design boards that I want to include uh, within this message to my client. So you can turn on the toggles for any design boards that you want, and then go ahead and create your own personal message and share those designs with your client. Now, one key thing that I will bring to your attention as well is uh, when you have a, a particular scenario where you want to delete a project folder. So if I wanted to delete the final presentation folder, I could click this button right here with the three dots and I can click this option to delete the folder. But if you do that, you are gonna get this warning message that says if you delete this folder, it's also going to delete all the contained design boards and it's also gonna delete all of the team and client messages and the product approvals that are added to those boards. So if you don't want that to happen, before you remove a folder, what you can do is you can go into this folder right here and let's shift all of these designs out of this folder so we can empty the folder and then we can delete it. 
So I'm gonna move all of my design boards here. I'm just gonna push them right back to the main project level, or I could choose to shift them into a different client folder if I wanted to, but I'm gonna put them into uh, the main project level for now. And then when I come back to the main project level, you'll see that this uh, final presentation folder is now empty. So if I want to remove this without losing any of my content or any of the approvals, the communication, I can do that now knowing that all of my other boards have been shifted out of that, pro that folder first. So that's essentially how it works. So definitely jump into your design files account, give this new folder feature a try. Honestly, it is going to save you a ton of time because you'll be far more organized. You can group everything by individual room, or you can create folders for your final presentation or whatever you want to create your folders for. Um, and then you can start organizing your boards into each of those folders so that you have just a cleaner way to quickly access and find specific designs within your project versus having an endless scrolling page of design boards. And of course, if you have any questions whatsoever about how to use your project folders, reach out to us on the live chat. We're always happy to help. Thanks for watching.